All right, guys, Skyboy32 here, check it out, sitting here with my cup of coffee. I'm going to be using a new microphone today, so we're going to be turning up the sexy voice. <laughs> All right, before we get on to this video, a uh, real quick announcement. I know a lot of people get tired of it, but uh, Olight's doing another real quick flash sale uh, this time. And I think I went over the production of this guy. This is the uh, S1R Baton. If I had to recommend one specific flashlight, I kind of like this guy right here. One of the reasons why it has the same functions as the bigger baton, uh, you turn it on. Hold on, let me do this. It has three level, one, two, three. You've got the super duper bright, and then you can triple flash it and do that. Okay, so it has all the cool functions. Also, all right, so the SR1 Desert Tan, 30% off. Uh, sale price is $48.97 right now, limit two per person. Also, they got a bundle pricing thing, the S1R 2 Desert 10, the L Docking Deal Kit uh, for $59. L Docking Kit's pretty cool because you can just put it up there, you know, on your countertop or wherever. Just carry it with you. It charges up every day. And then the bundle number three is this guy right here, as well as the one, that's that little itty bitty one. Now, I use the keychain. And the cool thing about this uh, honestly, is it is two levels of brightness. You can go, hold on, let's do it like this. There's the low. You can actually see it on my hand right there. Uh, but also, and I'm just wondering how in the world you charge this. There's a little mini uh, slot there for your uh, micro USB card. Okay, so anyway, um, olightworld.com. Okay, <laughs> get that out of the way. Uh, sound like an info commercial big time over there. All right, let's do this. So, Beto O'Rourke, he is on the warpath, uh, I guess. He's found a platform that is appealing to the young kids. Unfortunately, they're not old enough to vote right now, and that is a pure stance on um, anti-gun. Uh, and, and he was on CNN the other morning with Dana Bash. Now, Dana Bash is typically a left-wing nutcase, as the most are over there at CNN. But she made and asked some stuff. USA Today, as a matter of fact, I have that uh, same article right here saying that a mandatory buyback would be the worst thing that anti-gun crowd could uh, do. In other words, it would shut down all legislation because I don't believe that there will ever be a mandatory buyback. Uh, what is a mandatory buyback? Well, <laughs> okay, so you have a firearm that is on this list uh, that the government has developed and they deem that we don't want that on our streets anymore. So guess what? We're going to offer to buy this back from you. Now, it's, it's, it's using taxpayer money to buy something that belongs to me and it's not for sale. You guys agree with me on that? Put your comments down below about what your thoughts are on what they call mandatory buyback. And Previous to the mandatory buyback, guess what they're going to try to do? They're going to, okay, well, you need to register. Hey, uh, yeah, see, um, it's now you got to register them, okay, and that way we know who has what. So when it comes time for the mandatory buyback, uh, no. Anyway, so I, I took down some, uh, some sections from the uh, CNN interview, and it starts off by, he, he, he likes to cuss a lot on the trail. So here's a little part that they made right here. Stand by, watch this. So what the motivation is, do not yet know the firearms that were used or how they acquired them. But we do know this is up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so my biggest thing right there was these people. It sounds like that group of Moms Demand Action Now, and I guarantee that's exactly what that was. It was probably a Moms Demand Action Now, and they get all giddy and happy at a politician's mention of banning and confiscating firearms, similar to the uh, the sheriff up there in Haywood County, is it Haywood County, uh, up in Asheville, when he mentioned pride for my cold dead hands and he made the comment of like well okay and they were just oh yay kill them they the sec the the, the, the left-handed individuals who are anti-gun are the most evil sadistic vile mouthed individuals they would rather kill a gun owner just to in the guise of we're creating a safer environment if we get that off the street and if we have to kill you to get it then so be it in this next little segment, Beto O'Rourke kind of goes through the whole thing about how 
he plans on implementing these new laws as well as a buyback. What the hell are you buying back from me? I owned it to start off with, and it's not for sale. Watch this. Uh, we're going to speak uh, as defiantly and as strongly as we can, but we're also going to take action. Universal background checks, red flag laws, and into the sales of weapons of war, and buying those AK-47s and AR-15s back so that they cannot be used against our fellow Americans. Unbelievable. No, they're not for sale, sir. And if they were, they would be so expensive that uh, the Shah of Iran couldn't afford them. That's my thoughts. Okay, so in this next segment, he says he goes to a gun show and he meets three people, and we're going to go over them separately. The first guy was supposedly somebody who was selling guns, and then, and he 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 he, he talks about how. Uh, we lost more than 40,000 people to gun violence last year. And I love this is the part where the, 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 the left love to lie and skew the facts. And, and again, guys, I have never received a phone call or a polling on anything. I see these things online, but I'm not going to click on them because, first of all, they want you to register and get your name. And, and next thing you know, you're getting 100 emails a day. But I'm not doing that. But I've never received a telephone call. The only people I ever get a phone call from are people who want to extend my car insurance or sell me some affordable health care. Let's watch this. The first person who approached me uh, introduced himself, recognized me. And I said, look, I got to be honest. I'm here because we lose more than 40,000 Americans a year. We've got to find a solution. And he said, I shouldn't be here. If you have a pulse, if you're 18 years old, I sell you the gun. I shouldn't be able to do that. He, at a gun show selling guns, was advocating for universal background checks. Lies, lies, lie. Lie like a rug. A politician. It, 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 it's, it, it matters not to them. They will lie to get a vote. They will lie to enforce their agenda. Lies. Let's hear a couple other lies. This one's going to be fun. Listen to this. Um, another father of three says, I own an AR-15. I'm not sure if I agree with your policy on weapons of war, but I've got three kids in school and I'm worried about them. And they're, they're afraid to go to school on Monday. We got to do something. Fear mongering. Um, I'm not afraid for my kids to go to school. I, I would be afraid if they were going to the school in the hood or if they were, I'd be more afraid that they're going to get in a wreck on a bus because you're more likely to get killed on the car than you are by somebody who decides they're going to, they're sick in the head. And this is where it goes. People are sick in the head. Now this next part is the biggest lie I have ever heard. And the mere fact that this jackass is going on TV and spewing this, it's unreal. What he's doing is he's trying to sell a picture to people in our country that, yeah, yeah. Let's, all right, I'm, I'm going to shut up. I want you to hear this. Here we go. Uh, another guy said, I voted for Trump have an AK-47, but I'd be willing to give it up if it means that we're going to save lives in this country. Hold on, one more time, because I just I'm gonna hear it one more time. Here we go. Uh, another guy said, I voted for Trump, have an AK-47, but I'd be willing to give it up if it means that we're going to save lives in this country. How many of you guys are out here who are planning to give up your firearms if it saves lives in our country? You know what saves lives? I don't have one sitting right here in front of me, but it's my gun. The one thing that saves lives is your ability to protect you, your family, and your, your home. This guy, this is the reason why he'll never be voted into office, but what an absolute turd. Here's another little section. Listen to this. Universal background checks will help. Ending the sales of weapons of war will help. But if millions of them remain on the streets, they will still be instruments of terror that terrify and terrorize us and take our lives. I am of the mind that he actually has these bullet points written in front of him. If you look, he sounds like he's reading it off or he's practiced it to no point. Red flag laws, registering your gun, uh, getting our firearms through some kind of purchase plan, mandatory purchase plan. Of course, you're going to have to register them. Don't register a damn thing. That's my point. Okay. so. In conclusion, let's listen to this last part, and then I know this has been a long video, but we'll, we'll get through this thing. But listen to this shit. Um, what he is selling to the public, these people on CNN, is the impact, the use of these firearms, the beloved AR-15 or the AK-47, and their ability 
to cause damage. There, hey, it's a great weapon. It's a great firearm. But the simplicity of it is, it is not a full automatic firearm. There is a difference. It shoots, well, hold on. We'll go over that in here in a second. Watch this. Uh, a national gun registry licensing for every American who owns a firearm. Um, use that gun for self-protection, uh, to hunt, um, to collect, um, to shoot at target practice. But you don't need an AR-15, an AK-47. That is a weapon of war designed to kill people as efficiently, as effectively, in as great a number. And what he's saying here is that for some reason, the AR-15 and the AK-47 are special. That that bullet is such a high impact bullet it's it's pro it's more explosive than say a 308 or a 30 off six or a 65 creedmoor or anything else so he's trying to pitch to the public who a lot of people watch cnn that that specific round for that specific rifle is more deadly and more explosive than another round now here is another part that where he's trying to create a solid evident that that round is more powerful. Watch this. Possible that that high impact, high velocity round it distributes its entire kinetic energy in your body and destroys your insides. We we talked to the surgeons who treated the victims in El Paso. Many of them had been on the battlefields in Iraq and Afghanistan. They said these are wounds of war. Um, let's not sell those anymore and let's bring them back off of our streets. Okay, let's change. <laughs> okay, Beto. What he's planning on doing, ladies and gentlemen, is when they do it, if he, and it's not going to happen, you know it's not going to happen, but it, it would be interesting to see the concept of what, how they plan on enforcing this thing. What firearms are going to make this list? If they're going to use like California, New Jersey, or New York's list of firearms that are so-called assault weapons. You can basically say it's just like that stop assault weapons now ban. Uh, legislation they're trying to do in Florida is it's going to list anything that is semi-automatic and is capable of holding more than 10, 10 or more rounds. So anyway, they try to solidify their argument. He tries to sell the public on that this is a viable situation where we can over the fact that uh, we need to do something. And I agree, we need to do something. But we need to address the mental issues in this country. And why are these people doing what they're doing? And please, dear God, if you know somebody who's planning on doing something like this, do something about it. It's going to take you and me to do something about preventing things like this in the future. But how do you do it without violating a constitutional right? Certainly not red flag laws. And certainly they can't enforce the damn... Uh, laws that are on the books now for gun control as it is. Anyway, it's a long video. I appreciate you guys getting uh, uh, patience. Don't forget about the Olight sale. I'll put a link down below for you. Uh, that is a good light. Uh, but in any case, go to Boy32 as always. Oh, my friend, is your six covered? I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel down there. He's an awesome guy. Looking forward to shooting some three gun with him in the near future. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. I'm out of here. Peace.